Hey guys, welcome back to Deepak's Daily Reading and today we're going to be talking about Dan Sullivan and his book called Cash Confidence. So fundamentally the book, and it's a short read, You, if you listen to it at 2.5x you can probably finish the book within the space of uh, an hour to be honest with you. So it's what's interesting about Dan Sullivan in general, I think I've said it before, he's maybe 78 at the time of recording this book, he at the age of 71 decided he wanted to produce 100 books over the next uh, every three quarters every quarter and realized he needed to fundamentally release one yeah one book a quarter would take him 25 years so he has a plan to live to 150 something so just a really really interesting individual in general and he runs a company called strategic coach which does maybe between 15 and 20 million dollars in revenue so really really interesting guy so cash confidence relates to cash with a k even though it's spelled total cash with a c here and it relates to your knowledge attitude skills and habits and that's where confidence can come from And fundamentally, it relates to the idea that rather focusing on profit and focusing on actual cash as in the monetary version of it, rather it's better to focus instead upon your knowledge, attitude, skills and habits. And that's what's going to give you confidence. If you're able to continuously work in those four areas, then with that, you can develop fundamentally cash confidence. So what's more interesting about this book, I think, well, let me let me let me extrapolate that out and talk about some of the takeaways I take from that. So continuously learning and continuously understanding where you should learn is going to help develop fundamentally the right kinds of knowledge attitude i think to a degree can go without saying for anyone who's in this book notes group because you've got a desire and attitude to want to learn the challenge i find is what is the best body of learning the best body of learning for anybody if they're seeking to be an entrepreneur is to learn the ability to generate leads and to market and to sell which falls under the larger umbrella of improving your communication skills. So one element of that is ultimately your ability to communicate effectively. And that's where I am trying to sharpen my saw to sharpen my knife. And to do that, I have this book notes group because what I do in the process of recording these voice notes is I am able to articulate my thoughts and become an ever more effective communicator. So I think that knowledge is a really, really big thing. And the way that you can get better at the articulation of your knowledge is fundamentally through the actual speaking out loud of it, if you will. And that's also a development of your skills. So I listen to these books and you know you acquire skills and hopefully to a degree passively you do as well. <coughs> and habits, my habits actually have got a little lax of late. I need to continue to wake up at 4 a.m. I need to continue to record these book notes. I'm not doing it with the consistency I did before. And I still think there's a bit of haze having moved from Italy, London to to, to Italy. But I'm, I'm, I'm back here now and I'm not planning to go back to or go away from Italy for a couple of weeks yet. I'm realizing how important it is to stay in the same place and, and city and otherwise. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's, it's a so-so book. I think that the other element of it is that when you rely upon these things from a cash perspective then you can live a life filled with abundance and and profit will come and i can see now why benjamin hardy when he combines working with dan sullivan is such a effective combination because ben benjamin hardy is a much much more competent writer and the way that he structured and put thought into his books you can tell there's a clear difference Dan Sullivan feels a lot more my style. It feels a little bit more rushed. And I am planning to, and I am doing the same thing. Uh, Only today I had a call that I intend to turn into a book. So anyway, in any event, that's Total Cash Confidence by Dan Sullivan. Quick read, read it in 45 minutes. I don't know that you'd, I don't know that it's a worthwhile game changing read. I've literally got two notes on it, as you can see. And that's it for Total Cash Confidence.